everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, this. Like uh, I'm going to show you how to read QR code and uh, track it. And yeah, you can see the QR code is read and it is displayed in the uh, the content is displayed on top of the image. So yeah, let's see how to do this. So before starting. Uh, all you have to do is install uh, Pi Zbar. Uh, this you can install just by uh, pip install Pi Zbar. I have already installed, so it is showing requirement already satisfied. So if you haven't installed, please do this. Uh, also, you have to install um, OpenCV by OpenCV Python. So it will automatically install NumPy and Open CV will be uh, used to display and fix the image from the webcam. So I'll show you from scratch. I'll create a new file and show you uh, everything from scratch. So tutorial dot pi. So before doing anything, you have to import the library from pyzbar we are going to import decode so this is the only method we are going to use from the pyzbar library and we are going to use uh, cv2 open cv it is and we are going to use numpy we are going to import numpy as an input now before doing anything we are going to read the data from the camera so i am going to create a capture device cv2 dot video capture 0 is the index of the camera if you have more than one camera uh, attached to your device uh, change this number and you will you can find uh, the appropriate device that you want to connect then i am going to write a while loop uh, just to sh see if the Video capture device is working fine. So I'm going to create a frame. This cap not read. This will give you the uh, frame capture state, and this will give you the actual frame. And we are going to just display the camera feed just to. Uh, so I'm going to show the image that the camera is acquiring just to see uh, everything works fine so i am just displaying the frame so i am going to run this uh, yeah as you can see it is displaying my face without any issue so then we are going to get the QR code data from the uh, image. So I am going to create uh, a simple method get QR data from the input frame. So I am going to try to get data from it and return. Uh, if it catches any exception, we are just going to return an empty list. So this will uh, this will keep uh, the program running the while loop will not be exited. Uh, if we use the decode method inside this while loop, we may uh, encounter some, uh, if we encounter any error, we will uh, be thrown out of the loop and the program will be terminated. That's why we are using this try except block here. And we are going to draw the polygon from the acquired data. So let's create another function draw polygon 
so we are going to write this uh, we are going to draw this polygon on a input frame let's call it frame in and we are going to get the q or code object let's call it q or object so the q or object will contain the uh, size or uh, the polygon uh, points the q or object will contain uh, q or data so yeah if length of the q or object is equals to 0 then we should not do anything but return the original frame so we are getting the frame and we are trying to draw a polygon in it so if we don't get any data from the qr object we are just going to return the frame as it is without writing anything in it so if if not so if the qr object contains any data we are going to uh, draw polygons from the qr object for each qr object for each QR object, I am going to uh, decode the text. OBG dot data. The data is in uh, byte array. The data is a byte array. So from the byte array, we are going to decode text, and it is going to be encoded in uh, Unicode UTF-8 format. So the points will be in um, in obj dot polygon method so to draw this uh, this obj dot polygon we are going to uh, convert it into an NPI, numpy array so that we can uh, draw it using opencv uh, polylines method so let's convert these points to np dot array. So this is going to be converted into np dot int thirty two. So now we are going to reshape this uh, points. So we are going to uh, convert the data or reshape the data into the required format. So the original dimension that is returned by this uh, uh, this method. So let me print it so that you get a better idea. So let me call it before reshaping points dot shape. So, I am going to reshape it, the points, points dot reshape, I am going to create a 4 comma 1 comma 2. The data returned by this uh, object dot polygon uh, is in different shape which is not acceptable by the cv2 dot polylines. Uh, function so i am just reshaping it and i am going to print this way after reshaping so i am doing this just to uh, show you how and why we are uh, doing this reshaping of the uh, input points or the points read by the pi z bar pi z bar method so c2 dot polylines i am going to just write uh, or draw these lines in the input frame and we are going to give the points the list of points that uh, we are going to draw a uh, polyline and Let's choose a color. 
255 mom 255 so it will be white so we will not be able to see it since i am using a white color qr code also so let's have a different color and i am going to put text in the frame the input frame and the text that we have in the the text that we have here so this is the location of the text and this is going to be the font let's choose a simple font the size of the font is going to be 1.5 and the color this is the line thickness or thickness of the uh, text element so i am just going to return the frame so the input frame is uh, modified by these methods so you can see and let's call these functions in the main loop so make sure you call the im show function at last so at last or uh, after modifying the frames so let's create let's read the qr object from get qr data and giving it the frame input and we are going to modify the frame or we are going to draw polygon on it by using this method and so this is our custom custom function that we wrote draw polygon and this function getting two objects that one is the uh, image frame and another one is the qr object from that it will parse and draw the polylines and text accordingly let's quickly test if it is working fine so you can see it is reading the qr code without any trouble uh, if uh, you move the qr code too fast it will be uh, due to motion blur it will not read but uh, the slowly moving uh, qr code is read by pi z bar without any trouble so yeah let's go close this one okay let's tidy it up by calling uh, quit method instead of uh, forcing it to force the program to close every time let's let's call uh, let's make it close gracefully i am going to uh, enter q to quit so it will break out of the loop and it will be uh, it will release the uh camera device and it will destroy all the windows so instead of uh, closing it from the ide or force uh, forcing it to shut down forcing the program to close we are just uh, instead of forcing it to shut down or forcing the program to quit we are just using uh, we are just reading the key press q and if we press q it will uh, be closed let's so quickly test it so i'm just going to press q and it should shut down yeah it quits so yeah that's it so my code is available in the uh, github repository the link is in the description please check out uh, if you have any doubt or if you have any queries please comment and please subscribe uh, thank you for watching